Salford also recorded a victory in round one away at the Lee Leopards. So whoever wins this one will go top of the table for at least a day. Rovers have kicked off and Salford have first use of the ball. Andy Ackers around the back it goes to Tim Lafay. He spins the ball out. Salford being expansive immediately over on the far side is Ken Seo is a powerful runner. We all know about Ken Seo from his time in East Hull. Mikey Lewis with a Sean head for this one. Almost unrecognisable. Will Daggers underneath that kick. He spilt it. But, well, it's a dropout. He's tackle complete, I think Marcus Griffiths is saying. The bomb went up. Will Dagger went backwards and... Well, was he just pushed dead? Salford, 30 metres out centre field. It's with Croft again. Turns it back inside. Tyler Deprace. Not the biggest of men, but quite stocky and powerful. Sneed has put an early kick in. Will Dagger's racing across. Correct option from the fullback. Burgess has got pace and... Well, Max Sneed has made a career of those kind of plays, hasn't he? And Rovers stand firm and eventually the former Wigan man goes to ground. Second time in this first eight minutes or so that Salford have been camped down this end. Watkins is powerful from that range, but Rovers again with good defence. They've put the kick in behind. Abdul's happy to push it dead. So good pressure being built by the Red Devils here, but Rovers thus far still tied up at nil-nil. Rovers communication has been decent so far. That's a good tackle, a good lift and dump on Jack Allmanroyd who hits the ground extremely heavily. What will Salford have up the sleeve here? Briley has pushed it wide. Co. We're going to go to the video referee. No, we're not. He's given it. Well, it looks as though Marcus Griffiths was going to go upstairs at first. He hasn't, and on the 11th minute, it's Salford with the opening try of the game. It's James Batchelor who managed to get him by the collar. Ackers. Oh, poor defence. He's by himself. He's looking for support from Brody Croft. Croft is met, and the ball is wrapped up in the tackle, but this is sloppy defence from Rovers. Lewis, will he go solo? He stabbed it through. There's a chance of a chase. Salford take no chances. Repeat set for Rovers, and that's not too bad an outcome. Last tackle, will it be a kick option? It's with Jordan Abdul. He's measured one. Rovers have got some height there. Lynette has it. The ball's gone loose. Rovers pick up. Rovers score. We may go to Ben Failer. But Rovers have certainly got the ball down. What's Marcus Griffiths going to... He's saying no try. Well, what's the thinking process here? Is he saying it was a knock-on? Rovers look confident that they've scored. The players are all walking back. Was the push or a shove or a grab by a Rovers player on a Salford man, which is why it's going to be penalised. Eight and a half minutes to go in the first half. The take looks to be OK. Then it went backwards. It was a Salford hand that then pushed it back towards their line. It goes to ground. Yep, yeah, there's the penalty there. Look, Sean Kenny Gowell just... Grabs hold of the Salford man, unfortunately. It's going to be a penalty for Salford for the grab by Sean Kenny Dowell. Salford hand knocked it back towards the Salford line. Rovers again pushed it backwards, but then Sean Kenny Dowell looked to have a hold of the Salford man. But the longer this plays on, the more it may benefit Rovers. 
Hey, I tell you something, we're, we're gonna we're maybe going to the ground in here, are we? No, Sam Wood's gonna be chopped off. It was Sam Wood who got the ground in. Hadley, Abdul, floats one, running opportunity. It's with Sam Wood. Sam Wood steps inside, still going the big man. Great run from Sam Wood. Rovers now need to move it to their right quickly. Mikey Lewis wants possession. Abdul taking on the line himself, fending, trying to force his way into the Salford 10. You just sense that this is Rovers' best moment of this game so far. Salford will be absolutely devastated if Rovers score here. They've pretty much bossed this first half and yet Rovers have an opportunity. Lynette, he grounded it, did he bounce it? No, Salford have it. Briley turns it back inside, we have 21 seconds, that's gone loose. Sneed picks up, Sneed skipping away from defenders. Rovers need to nail him. This is dreadful defence. I'm not going to try and sugarcoat this. This has been terrible from Rovers at times. They have managed to only be 4-0 down. It could have been even better had Rovers got ball to hand then. But Salford will leave the field wondering how they are not winning this game handsomely. Rovers will be taking a long, hard look at themselves. Salford lead at half-time. Just that one try to Ken Seo on 11 minutes of play. Salford will get the second half underway. You can see Elliot Minchella is limbering up on the touchline, so perhaps it wasn't an injury to him in that first half as Sean Kenny Dowell picks up the ball at the start of the second half. To Abdul to Dagger. It's with Lynette. Lynette with the fend. Lynette trying to use his strength. Last tackle. Kick option required, perhaps. Kenny Dowell with the kick. Will Dagger to Abdul. The referee says that's still the last. Challenge in the air. It's come loose. Rovers have it. Ethan Ryan has perhaps got the ground in there for the Robins. We're going to go to the video ref unsurprisingly. What's the decision on the field? Try on the field. Rovers came knocking on the door on the left-hand side. It was closed. They kept the ball alive and Abdul's kick has it resulted in an Ethan Ryan try for Hulkingston Rovers. Rovers are on the board, courtesy of the wingman, Ethan Ryan. And, well, that's the response we wanted, wasn't it? The poor first half, but the first point of the second half and we are tied up at four all and Will Dagger is lining up the conversion. Dagger puts Rovers in front. Oh, he feigned the offload and almost went in there. It was Sam Luckley. Abdul stabs it through. Chase, what's it like? Oh, it's pushed dead by Salford, but it's a repeat set for Rovers. And this already in just nine second half minutes has been what we were expecting from the Robins in this game. Parcel back inside to Abdul. Needs runners. It's with Luckley again. Oh, great run from Luckley. All of a sudden, Rovers fancy this. They've got Salford on the back foot. Can they capitalise? Abdul he needs options. He needs runners. Uh, Rovers are in off the kick of Abdul. It's Frankie Holton. Marcus Griffiths has no hesitation. And Rovers have their second. 51 minutes played. Frankie Halton has Rovers' second try. They lead the Salford Red Devils by 10 points to four. Dagger with the two. 12-4 in favour of Willie Peters, Hulkingston Rovers. Briley pushing it to Sneed. Linking in. Oh, and they've responded straight away. So that mistake of Bachelor has been punished. 
the Rovers restart will bounce is it a good bounce Salford knock on great opportunity for Rovers now to strike back again Sam Stone I think it was with, with the mistake the big man yep he went down knocked it forward and Rovers can build something here if Rovers can hit back straight away in response to the cross try that would be a real signal for Salford wouldn't it it's with Dean Hadley now Hadley plays it on the 10 Abdul to Kane Lynette no look pass but well marshalled Salford defence Rovers still inside the 10 though deep in the danger zone good ball Kenny Dowell Sam Wood in the corner Sam Wood goes in on the left edge so Rovers respond to Salford's second try with their third of the game and big Sam Wood he had the simple task of making the catch plonking it down 16-10 now the Robins lead Will Dagger virtually on the touchline he's given it a chance more than a chance over you go what a kick from Dagger Rovers make the tackle it was Batchelor who made it no real pressure on the kicker but Salford are all offside oh and they're going to get the rub of the green here we're going to have to go to the video ref surely I'm not sure that CO was one of the ones that were offside certainly the referee he's gone no try it's going to be chalked off that's a massive moment in this game still have opportunity Abdul does runners for him oh Salford have got the ball but Rovers have made the tackle in the in goal area and that's desire isn't it George King's going to be reintroduced shortly for Rovers oh Jez Litton oh inches short Jez Litton a quick play the ball may have Salford in problems last tackle Rovers just trying to bully the way over Abdul needs to make a decision and quick it's Sam Wood oh he's got the ground in was he in was he in we're going to go to Ben Failer. this is absolutely massive he's saying no try oh yeah he's out close but no cigar for both sides decent effort by Sam Wood but wasn't to be Kenny Dowell and Hadley being the two picks for me this man's kicking game has caused problems as it always does he's lost it chance for Rovers Sam Wood try for Wood that's the game for the Robins surely no denying the Robins this time Abdul's kick well that's the third time it's called, caused Salford problems Briley couldn't deal with it Sam Wood has his second of the game 22 10 to the Robins with just over seven and a half minutes remaining he was denied by the video ref for one not long before that second score Sam Wood he'll be absolutely delighted replacing the injured Ryan Hall the kick ahead was by the skipper I think it was and Sam Wood did the rest Abdul's kick was an absolute belter wasn't it would you want to be underneath one of those yep Kenny Dowell Sam Wood try time for the Robins oh Will Daggers just kicking for fun isn't he it didn't He's making it look absolutely effortless. Oh, that should be tackle count wiped and is. Frankie Halton, will he push the pass? No, he's just going to take the tackle. And Rovers take the victory. 4-0 to Salford at the interval. No real impact from the Robins in that first half, but it all changed in the second half. 
the kicking game of Jordan Abdul was one of the main reasons tries to Ethan Ryan after an Abdul kick on 45 given by the video ref and then another kick to see Frankie Holton go in on 51 Dion Cross responded for Salford with Sneed converting making the scoreline 12-10 in favour of the Robins at that stage but then a brace from Sam Wood excellent goal kicking from Will Dagger 4 from 4 Rovers convincingly win the second half and win the game by 24 points to 10 and dare I say it Rovers go to the top of the Super League table after round 2